the sprawling slum of Clara Town on the edge of Liberia's capital city. It's here that incoming President George Weah was raised. His nephew takes us to visit the family home. At where George Weah used to stay before leaving for uh, Cameroon. He now sleeps in the president's former bedroom and is inspired by his journey. He grew up in a slum community. Anything is possible. Don't never look down upon yourself. Once you have the confidence, trust yourself, you can make it. George Weah's start in life was far from easy. He never knew his father, and his mother left him here as a baby to be raised by his grandmother and extended family. Later, he'd roam the streets of the slum with his friends. His aunt, Rebecca, remembers him as outgoing. Joshua, he was a good boy. He used to love people. Many, many friends he used to have. He had plenty of friends. Today, the slums' children have better opportunities. Multi-millionaire Weah funded a new school right next to his house. As a teenager, he dropped out, so former classmates were somewhat surprised when he told them he was seeking the presidency. We were shocked. We were good for 19 children you know, playing football. But who knew at that time that Joey was going to reach this stage? Nobody knew. This is the pitch where George Ware used to train as a teenager before heading abroad to begin a glittering career in international football. And it's coming here that you really get a sense of his extraordinary journey from one of the poorest slums in Liberia to the highest office in the land. And I'll be speaking.